Hi, and welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with a haul from Trader Joe's. It's gonna be my last haul for a while because I am starting a freezer and pantry challenge in January. So I went to Trader Joe's today, stocked up on some of our goodies. I spent $107 and some change, so I will jump right in. So I'll start with the produ produce. I grabbed some baby spinach and some kale for recipes. There's a soup that I really like to make uh, with the kale and it is so good. I've been craving that soup. And then I grabbed some parsley. I just discovered cooking with parsley about a year ago and it adds so much flavor. So, and it keeps for a long time in your fridge. And I also grabbed some Granny Smith apples. These are the small apples and um, apples stay for a long time in the fridge, so I love to have those on hand. Grab some mushrooms for a recipe as well. And then we eat a lot of broccoli, so I just grabbed some broccoli just to have on hand. Grabbed a couple of these uh, smoothies. I grabbed a strawberry and then a wild berry. My two-year-old son loves these smoothies. And then I also grabbed some salad just to have for dinners. I typically buy and like the butter lettuce, but butter lettuce goes bad so quickly and the romaine is heartier and it just lasts a lot longer. I also grabbed some frozen um, peppers and these are um, strips. They are red, yellow, and green. And I just like to have them to add them to meals, just a quick and easy thing to do. I grabbed some macaroni and cheese. I don't think I've ever bought their macaroni and cheese before, so I wanted to give it a try, and it was only 99 cents. And then for my husband, grabbed him some cashews. He loves cashews. And these are the 50% less sodium ones. I can't remember if I mentioned mushrooms for recipes. Grabbed some truffle baking mix, and then I have been wanting to try this pasta for a while. It is tri-colored spaghetti. It's um, red, green, and just the white pasta, um, but it is spinach and tomato. Spinach, tomato, and just the regular pasta. So I wanted to give that a try. And then I've also had my eye on this grainless granola, and all it is is almond, coconut, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. <clears throat> Excuse me, sounded really good to me. Clusters, and here is what it looks like. I like to have granola on my yogurt. I grabbed some of these bird's nest, and they're not bad to me. Um, they kind of remind me of onion rings. I'm not a big onion ring fan, but my husband really does like these a lot and I can take them. Um, they're, you know, like I said, they're not too bad. I cook them in the air fryer. They turn out nice and crunchy. There's a soy dipping sauce and the vegetables, let me turn it over in case you're wondering what the vegetables are in there. So here they are. They've got carrot and kale and carrot, kale. I think that might be it. Oh, and onions, sorry, and onions. So, all that's in there. And then I also grabbed some of this chicken chow mein because I like having stuff like this on hand when I'm in a hurry. It's either a quick lunch or a quick dinner. And typically I add some fresh vegetables to it just to stretch it a little bit more. Grabbed a couple of their pie crust. I heard a lot of good, th good things about their pie, pie crust right around Thanksgiving. I've heard that these taste the closest to homemade because they are made with butter. So I grabbed two boxes because I know I'll be making pot pies and stuff like that. I grabbed some of their chicken fried rice. I've never picked up their chicken fried rice before even though I've heard really good things about it because I do not like peas at all. But I decided to get the fried rice, suck it up, and then I would go ahead and um, take out the green peas before I cooked it. So wanted to give that a try and also grab some of their barbecue teriyaki chicken. As you can uh, see, if you're a fan of this chicken, the packaging changed, so I'm hoping it tastes the same. I'm sure it will. Grab that, and then Howard and I really like these Korean-style beef short ribs. They're like $11 for a package. Honestly, if you went to the store and just bought the short ribs and then your own marinade, you'd probably end up spending that much. But Howard and I like them. They are frozen and they are raw. Um, I have cooked them on the stovetop and on the grill, and they are 100% better on the grill than the stovetop. So we like to have these on hand. 
grabbed a couple of tubes of crescent rolls because I do all sorts of things with crescent rolls. Grab some of these pita bite crackers and then I grab some of these graham cracker squares for my son. Normally I get him honey made. Um, he really likes graham crackers. I've never tried the Trader Joe's before so I do hope that he likes them. Grab some um, french fried onions. I did grab a um, container around Thanksgiving but these are a seasonal item so they still had some. I just decided to grab another one just to have it on hand. And then I grabbed a couple of their soup dumplings. I got one chicken and one pork. My husband and I both really like them a lot. And then I also grabbed some of their mini croissants. They are so good. I really like them a lot. Um, you can bake these straight from the freezer, but I like mine to proof on the counter and rise, and they are 100% better, but they are really good, and they're not as tiny as you think they would be. They're, you know, pretty decent serving size, so I grabbed some of those. So this is everything that I grabbed on my Trader Joe's haul. Oh, I don't think I mentioned corn. I grabbed three cans of corn because I am totally out of corn, so I grabbed three cans of corn, so... Um, anyway, this is everything that I grabbed on my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see what I come up with to cook for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the Pantry Challenge, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.